Hello and welcome. My name is Shimoda and today I'm here to bring you a quick little guide in the way of winter scenario in a once human. Um, I wanted to show you my farming method of chaosium through the means of hot rock ore. Uh, I am currently here near the sun shroud cave by the snake belly teleportation tower up in the northern region of ember strand. Um, when you get up here, you're going to want to go ahead and mark these two locations here. These are two entrances to caves, and I highly recommend you marking them because it's going to make it very simple for you to look on the mini-map and drive between them. Um, there is one thing you will need for this uh, at a minimum, which is these ice throwing daggers. It is a mimetic specialization. They are crafted out of, I'm not sure exactly what, but at least 30 cold rock ore. Um, and I recommend you having roughly 20 of these, maybe more. It kind of depends on your server and the luck you have. There are a couple problems with this. But 90% of the time, you should be getting your knives back every time you use it. It's just every now and then you're going to lose one. It just happens. But they are extremely OP. They are a whole lot better than using frost grenades. Frost grenades are such a drain on your resources. So please get these. They also have a fire throwing version but for this guide we are going to be farming the hot rock ore uh, one other thing you can get is the canned uh, seafood and oil whatever that's called it gives you this stroke of luck buff which you use for a chance to get an increased percent chance of yield bonus on the final strike while mining it does work on the hot rock ore um, starting here on this road we're going to head down into these caves and if you learn the inside of the caves you can probably bounce back and forth but uh, just coming outside of the cave and going between them the way I do, it's actually perfect. You're not really going to waste any time. You'll get to uh, one cluster of nodes um, and all the way back there with maybe like 10 seconds having to wait to respawn. So it's completely fine the way I'm doing it. However, if you want to learn the inside of the caves and run back and forth between the inside, just so you can kill some things or loot some things, whatever, that would be completely fine. But um base without any of the food buffs that i showed you you can look to get about 5,000 chaosium per hour uh that's at a minimum right now i'm testing doing it with the food buff um i'm hoping it goes up to about 8,000. you can see where my hunger bar is i have about five minutes left so i'm going to do this one run for you guys gather all this uh, and then head back and I'll show you how much I was able to loot in 30 minutes of doing this with the food buff. Um, you can run past these. You're probably going to pull some you're going to have to kill. But, uh, you know, force them to come to you. Assuming you're level 50, you have good gear. If you're not level 50, you don't have good gear. Uh, might want to be a little careful. Just take care of them as they come up to you. But as you can see there, they're kind of screwed off. Sometimes they run up here, but it is what it is. As you can see, I'm just throwing a nice thrown dagger. It blows it up. I can run up. I can mine it. And then I loot the dagger. Uh, sometimes uh, you will auto-loot the dagger, which will make it seem kind of weird. might make you think you lost it. And sometimes you, th oh, sometimes you throw it like you saw there. And you, uh, you blow up the node, uh, but you're not able to loot the node. But at least you get your dagger back. Um, there is one other situation where sometimes you throw the dagger, it, bl it doesn't blow up the node, and it consumes your dagger. In that case, don't throw another dagger. That node is cursed. Um, if you are able to, I would try and bring some frost grenades just so you don't lose that node. It's probably still worth just bringing the, the frost grenade. But if you can't afford it, not a big deal. Just blow up the node, so hopefully the next node won't be bugged. Um, and then you just mine all those, loot all those. Head out of the cave, and we're going to go to the other spot. Um, this is really good if you are either a solo player or a small team. I'm not sure what the requirements of the later phase is. Uh, I haven't actually played through a full phase of Once Human before, so I'm not sure how everything works out. I think I read something along the lines that there's going to be like requirements for servers having like certain number of maxed out thermal towers or something um so again if you're a small team or a solo player it is definitely feasible for you to 
get a max tower despite the insane chaosium requirements i think right now our base is level 29 uh, so we have maybe seven or eight more upgrades left six seven or eight more upgrades left i think it's seven uh, and it's currently eight thousand chaosium for an upgrade so uh yeah you're looking at probably 20 hours of doing this just to fully upgrade your tower of chaosium um, you can get chaosium other ways you can farm certain settlements but nothing is going to be quite as efficient as this uh, if you're in a big group you're probably not going to have any problem with chaosium this is really only for people who are uh, going for a max thermal tower and are either solo or in a group because you're just not going to have enough time to uh, loop Chaosium manually and this seems to be in my mind or from what I've tested also the most efficient way to do it um, assuming you need more than like the the five ten minute runs you can do through a couple of settlements because there are a few settlements maybe I'll make a video on it I don't really know um, I guess I can show you real quick just in case you're not aware it's I think like it's pretty obvious but uh, this settlement right here the fire throat fortress and the settlement up here the fire throat have a lot of chaosium barrels um, once you kind of know the path and where to go you can get probably about 3,000 chaosium in maybe like 20 minutes uh, it's really good but again that's something you can only do once a day this is something you can do forever assuming there's not competition but there's six worlds and not that many people need to do this uh, you could also just join join somebody else's tower that that is also something you can do <laughs> so there we go that's the full run as you can see i would just drive up top of this hill and that would make the five minute cycle uh, i think i did a little under five minutes but let's go ahead and head home i want to show you how much chaosium we've managed to scrounge together in about 30 minutes I probably did, I should have done six full runs, but I think with recording, um, doing this recording, it was probably only five full runs. But still, if you're really efficient and you're paying attention, you can definitely squeeze out another, like, what, 17, 18% of efficiency out of here. Um... But as you can see here, oh, I got more than 99. Uh, let me go ahead and put my Chaosium I have already away. You will get a little bit of Chaosium killing stuff. I have extra from probably somewhere else. I think I maybe got like 360 Chaosium from killing stuff. I'll go ahead and keep that on me. Just because I do think that should count. And we take all this out. And in 30 minutes, we gathered about 4,400, 45, 4,500 Chaosium. So about 9,000 Chaosium per hour with a little bit of variance because of the seafood and oil. I did think I could have been maybe about 15% more efficient. So uh, about 10,000 Chaosium per hour is pretty solid. You can see all the Chaosium I've gathered here. Trying to make this video, trying to make it kind of clear and concise. So I, I do hope this has helped. Um, I hope you guys can reach all your way of winter goals. I've been having a lot of fun. Uh, some of my, some of my hive mates have not been having fun with chaos. We were spawning on their base and destroying it. I've been relatively lucky. I've lost like a corner section of my base and that's about it. But the chaos we respawns right there. And we had a teammate who had a base here who, got destroyed two days in a row he moved his base and then i'm pretty sure he just quit so it, but that's that's the way it goes sometimes you know you, you hate to see it but it is what it is you know but yeah i've been having fun uh hope this helps best of luck